the, the purpose of this trip is actually largely for immigration more than, um, more than Facebook. Yeah. So why don't, we, why don't we talk about immigration for a minute? Um, obviously, Facebook has a direct interest in easing restrictions on high-skill immigrants. Um, and, and a lot of people in your industry have been pushing for that for some time. You have refused to decouple that from the larger question of immigration reform. Um, and I wonder why is that? Well, they're just both really important, and I think um, for a lot of reasons it makes sense to do both at the same time. Most of the folks who I know who run tech companies feel um, the high skill part of the, the issues very acutely, right? I mean, we, we all have, um, you know, a bunch of engineering roles that we're trying to fill, and this isn't a matter of trying to um, hire people instead of Americans who are doing this. We'll hire all of them, right? It's, um, it's, the, the issue is that there aren't enough talented people we can bring into the country, um, and that, that is a real issue that, that people feel. Um, we've been working on that for a while. That, that actually isn't the big point of this. Um, you know, I started getting into immigration uh, because... You know, I, my, my wife, when she graduated from, from college, went and became a teacher. And now um, she's just graduated medical school and is, is a pediatrician. So our dinner topics are basically Facebook and kids. And um, so far, I've been successful at, you know, pushing it off and not having our own kids. But um, just staying focused on, on our stuff. But I'll, I'll lose that one eventually. Um, but but in, the, in, in the meantime, so we, we do a bunch of education philanthropy work. And um, one day she, she says to me, um, you know, we're not just going to be, and, and you specifically aren't going to be one of these people who just, you know, writes checks to different organizations but hasn't ever taught anything yourself. Uh, so she helped me set up this, um, this classroom after school program in, right in our local community in, in um, East Menlo Park in, in California. Um, and I, I basically taught this after school program to a, a bunch of kids in, in, in the community um, on entrepreneurship. And it was a really rewarding experience, but the thing that I took away from it was, you know, one day after, after school, um, I, I asked the, the students how they were thinking about going to college, and my, my top student raised his hand and said, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to college because I'm undocumented. And that just blew my mind, because, I mean, he didn't look any different from anyone else there, and, I mean, it, it's like, you know, I think oftentimes people talk about, you know, high skill and um, comprehensive immigration reform as if they're different things, you know, that student is going to be the entrepreneur of tomorrow, right? And, and this is a, big, is a big deal. So I asked the students, um, you know, how many of you were born outside of the country? And a bunch of them put their hands up, and I was just shocked, right? And, um, you know, so they, they weren't going to be able to go to college um, or were going to have issues with that. They were all applying to local high schools. They were worried that they were going to have issues there because high schools all care about their matriculation stats and don't want to let kids in or at least um, somewhat biased against kids who are then going to not be able to get into college as, as easily. Um, so, you know, the more I looked into it, the more unfair this, this seemed. And, you know, Silicon Valley is a pretty idealistic place. So when I went and started talking to a lot of my friends who are CEOs of other tech companies and tried to um, get Forward.us started, um, I, I was really heartened by the response which was that all these folks care about the bigger issue, right? And I think in a lot of ways, we all agree that actually addressing and, and helping out the 11 million undocumented folks is an actually much bigger problem than the high skill piece that the companies face. So um, that, it, it's, a, it's a big problem. Our companies would be better if we dealt with that. But I mean, 11 million people is a lot of people who are being treated unfairly now. So you were up on the Hill today. You met with Hill Re House Republicans, I think, to talk about this. I wonder what your level of optimism is about actually getting something done in the short term. Well, you know, I'm optimistic, um, I, I, but I'm, I'm an entrepreneur, right? I mean, you don't um, go off and try to build something crazy if, um, if, you're not, if you're not optimistic fundamentally about the world. So, I mean, w what I see isn't, you know, the straight um, bipartisan crash, uh, clash that people talk about all the time where it's like, all right, there's one side that's trying to get something done and the other side that isn't. I mean, on this issue, you know, if you poll the majority of Americans, they want to get something done. Um, and, and even on very specific technical language, the majority of folks will support something. Um, folks on both, in both parties um, seem like they want to, um, by and large, move things forward. And there are, it's a very complicated issue with a lot of different aspect. So, of course, there's disagreement on specifics, but I mean, I've only encountered people who seem like they have good intentions and want to move this forward and um, care about the people in their districts. And what we're trying to do with Forward.us is 
I mean, obviously, we're not writing the law, right? I mean, that's, I mean, all these folks know way more about, about the, the sensitivities than we do. We just want to be there to help support folks who are going to have to take challenging positions and on, on something that's going to be controversial, but they ultimately believe is the right thing. So that's why we're here and what we're going to try to do to help out. Forward.us, the organization you've created to push this issue, has taken some criticism for the early advertising that it ran as being sort of conventional political attack ads. Um, you, you went in to sort of support the conservative credentials of a couple of candidates by going after Obamacare or promoting oil drilling. Are those the sorts of tactics you're going to stick with? Have you learned something from the experience so far? Yeah, well, there's been a lot to debug in, in terms of in making this work. You know, the thing that's interesting is that before Ford.us, as far as I can tell, there hasn't been a single political organization, or at least not one that's anywhere near this, this big, um, that is funding both Democrats and Republicans, right? And, um, you know, one of the things that's been interesting and, and challenging is we've tried to get senior folks on both parties um, to come together, and there have been interesting realities of that that I was kind of shocked about, you know, just taking the Silicon Valley perspective, um, you know, that, you know, a senior Democrat would never want to necessarily be associated with something that was funding Republicans and Republican similarly. So 4.us actually isn't one group. It's three groups. There's a, a, a mother group which um, does the policy work and the overall advocacy. And then there's a Republican group that's helping to support Republicans who are pushing for immigration reform. And there's a Democrat group that's re helping to, to push um, for issues that are, are trying to support immigration reform. And we're doing both. And um, it's interesting. You know, I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy to think that nothing like that has been done before. It's a novel structure. Um, there are some kinks to work out. Um, I think the team is, is doing an exceptional job. I mean, Joe Green is the, the president. He's, he's sitting right there. Um, you know, Todd Schulte is the executive director um, coming from the Democrat side. And Rob Jesmer has run a lot of campaigns successfully from the Republican side. It's a really good crew. Um, and I'm, I'm proud of the work that they're doing. And I think that they're, they're doing great work and, and continually improving.